What Shake and Chewy Nation? This is Chewbacca Lemon here, bringing you a little bit of a different video. Now, if you've checked out my other videos, you know that I do giveaways. I'm still doing those uh, every other day. Uh, so make sure if you're new, if this is the first video you've seen, make sure to subscribe. Check out those other videos. I'll put my most recent one in the description that is still able to be entered into. Now... Today we are going to talk about what, how I do these uh, giveaways. I try to make as many coins as I can in an hour and then do large quick sells, give them away. I'm going to talk to you today about how I make those coins. I had a, uh, a request to do one of these videos, so I just wanted to walk through. Uh, I'm going to do five steps or five like rules that I use to succeed on the auction house. Now, uh, when we talk about the filter, when we get to that point, uh, I just want to tell you that there is multiple ways to do this. This isn't like the best, I'm not going to say the best five rules to follow, but it is some sort of, I think, good list that you can use to hopefully be able to make some coins pretty consistently on the auction house. Now, the first one I want to talk about, probably the most important one, is you have to know your prices. If you don't know how much a card's worth, pretty obvious, you don't know if you should buy it, and therefore you're not going to buy it, or you may buy it and regret it, you have to know how much the card is worth. Uh, the second rule, we'll talk more about that here shortly, but we have to be able to look at a card and know if we want to buy that card or not. Now, you might be able to filter it and find out what the cheapest one up is, how cheap it is, you can do all kinds of things, but... At the end of the day, if you wait too long, you're going to miss that opportunity to buy that card. So you have to know your prices. How do you know your prices? Honestly, you just got to keep playing. You got to keep looking at those prices and just check it. And you'll get it. Uh, and probably not too long, you'll get it down pretty quickly. The second rule goes with the first one is mutthead.com slash prices. Now, if you checked out Mutthead, which I'm sure many of you have, Mutthead is big on these kind of things with... Uh, you know, check, putting up the new players, showing the new players, the new stats, all the stuff. Mutthead is a great website, but they also have something they, I think it's this year, the first year they've had it. They have the prices. It's linked directly, synced directly with the auction house. So you can see what those cards have sold for in the past. So if you type in Todd Gurley, his honors card, if you look that one up, you can see all of them that have sold. So that's pretty nifty when you're trying to see if you want to buy a card. Yes, it does take a minute. You gotta check it. But if you're not sure, if you if you're really like it's a high a high coin purchase and you're not really sure, it's a very useful tool to be able to help you. And I use it all the time. I'm not really sure at ones that you know hundred thousand coin cards. I'm not really sure if I want to make that purchase. You can see what they've sold for, and you see one that sells for 150k or 130k, and you're like insta buy, buy it, and then sell it for maybe whatever the last one sold for. That's Definitely, I, I think if you want to make coins consistently, Mutthead is is one of those one of those things that you have to have. The third thing, which is not as important, but it is definitely something that I think is needs to be said, is the time of day that you play. If you play in the morning, or in the well in the early a.m or in the afternoon on a weekday, there's not going to be that many people playing. Obviously, people are working, or if your uh, kids might be in school, whatever it may be, there's not as many people playing. Granted, there's not as much competition out there, but what I have found, it, it doesn't matter. If you have a lot of competition, it's much better to have a lot more players putting up cards than it is to have a lot more competition. If you have a lot of competition, yes, that card might sell instantly and you might miss it, but there's going to be a lot of cards that come up that you have a chance to buy that you won't see at 3, at 3 a.m. or at 11, 11 a.m. on a Tuesday. So it's important to make sure to just take into consideration the time of day. The fourth thing, which I'm sure other people who make coins would probably disagree with me on this one, but the way that I do it is... If I can't make 1,000 coins on a card, I basically just forget about it. So I'll talk more about it on step five when I get there, but or the fifth rule. But four, this rule is just basically, if I can't make 1,000 coins after EA's taxes, I'm not going to buy the card. If I can buy a card for 2,000 and sell it for 2,600, I'm just, it's not, to me, it's not worth it. Uh, definitely there's people that might disagree. There's people that might even say, if you can't make 2,000, I don't even worry about it. Again, it's just time. You got you buy the card, you put it up. To me, 
your time is better spent on other cards. I know there might be some disagreement there, but that's how I, how I, uh, how I look at it. The fifth and final rule is pick a filter that you are comfortable with. Now, I'm not here to tell you uh, which that the I'm not here to tell you that the filter that I'm using is necessarily the best filter. Uh, there's I'm sure there are filters out there that other people use that they find to be very successful. But this is I'm just going to give you a little bit of taste of what I use. Well, actually, I'm going to tell you exactly what I show you exactly what I use, and maybe it can help you, or maybe give you ideas on what you may want to try for your filter. Of course, I don't think there's such thing as as being a best filter, but I think this filter is pretty good. I've made a lot of coins. Uh, this is what I use when I do my giveaways, so I think it's kind of useful. So let's dive into my actual filter, which you're going to see on the screen right now. What I do, I use something with this cap value. Now this is new. Uh, cap value is not uh, this salary, uh, salary cap thing they added is new, so uh, you got to get used to the new auction now. It's been a few weeks, but what I do is I go through 4150, 5160, 6170, 7180 with running back and then wide receiver, or wide receiver running back, whichever one. So let's just start with running back. So I'm going to start with 71 to 80. Try to get a really nice hit. As you see, if you know your prices, there's nothing there that is a good price. TJ Yeldon is about worth 50000 Tree Archer, I think, is about 40000 45000 So, on the PS4. So, uh, nothing really there that's jumping out at me. And then I just go to the next one, 61 to 70 So we go to 61 70, we got nothing. And then I go to 51 60 and see if we got anything. And we got nothing. And 41 to 50 now, you could change the quality to an elite, so you only see the elite players, but there's actually some pretty good elite players here that uh, that you can get. Now, that Adrian Peterson card right there is really uh, yelling at me right there to buy, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that Adrian Peterson card and buy him for $7,100, sell him for $9,500, and go ahead and make a little over 1,000 coins, uh, with about 1,500 coins, and be on my way. And then we do the same thing. Right after I put this card up, I'll show you exactly what that same thing looks like with wide receivers. So we already have our uh, my Jamal Charles sold that I put up right before I started this video. That's great. Uh, let's go ahead and switch this to wide receiver. Let's get it off Vikings. Uh, Stephon Diggs. Uh, no thank you. But let's go ahead and just do wide receiver 41 to 50. And if you know your prices, again, on the PS4, those are not any good deals. And then we'll do 51 to 60. And not see anything, and then we'll go 61 to 70, and I don't see anything, and I'm already starting to click before it even shows up, and 71 to 80, and uh, nothing. So, and then just rinse and repeat, and then maybe switch it back to running back, and try, and then go through it again, go through those four things. Now, if you want, you can go over 80, but there's not many cards that are over 80. It's you really just have your golden ticket cards. So. Yeah, if you want to see that, but to me it's just a waste of time because people don't usually put a golden ticket card up. I mean, you see it, I know, sometimes, but it's just, I don't think it's worth the time to even look. And you might just get your hopes up because the odds are everybody's looking for it. So I, I avoid it. Uh, I do want to just mention uh, uh, things that uh, you may want to be tempted to try and definitely go ahead and try it is quarterback as well. The only reason I don't do quarterback is because... There's really, I don't even know these prices that well because I don't do quarterback usually, but there's only um, two ones that you really should probably be focusing, 71 to 80 and over 80, because quarterbacks take up a lot of cap value. If you go down to 61 to 70, eh, you may want to go there. There's really not a whole lot of good options uh, to buy, 61 to 70. So you could argue 61 to 70. I would definitely not go below 61 to 70. and Or you could try another position. But I think these are the running back and wide receiver and quarterback, you can argue, are probably the three best positions that you could use. And again, this is just a filter that I use. You don't necessarily have to uh, stay true to this exact filter. Even sometimes I go off of it. Uh, if I want to try something different with quarterback or something on defense, on corners or something, I want to get a little taste of a different card. But I find this filter to be very successful, uh, especially when you're doing it in prime time. Uh, that 6 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I find this filter, you can make a lot of coins very quickly, and if you get a nice hit, of course, you can make a lot of coins, but uh, it's very easy to make a decent amount of coins, and that's what I use when I use, do my giveaways. 
that one hour auction house challenge. Again, uh, make sure to check that out in the in the description below. Uh, as uh, I have not given those coins away, I've not declared a winner. So make I'll put a link down below. Uh, check my last video out if you want to be involved in that giveaway. Uh, that's all I have for today. If you have any suggestions on how you use the auction house and how you filter it out, leave those down below. Uh, if you like it, if you're if you see a comment that you like, make sure to uh, like that down below as well. Maybe uh, there's some out there that have some good strategies as well. That's all I got. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out new more videos uh, tomorrow and every other day for giveaways uh, of coins. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma out.